Hi and welcome to Swarup Studio. I am Swarup and in this tutorial I will be teaching the taper modifier in 3ds Max. When we want to taper the upper part of an object or we just want to add a curve to the object we can use the taper modifier. So you can go ahead and select the object and go under the command panel tabs and open the modifier list and select the taper modifier and that will give us the modifier so under the parameters we can control the amount which will control the how much it will be tapered and the curve which will control how much it should be curved let me show it so by default both will be zero so if i increase it the top of the object is tapering out and the bottom part is not tapering at all so if we go ahead and apply a negative number then it will happen the opposite way we can even change the primary axis so by default it will be set to z so if i choose z x or y it will taper in that axis so this is the plane the effect will be happening so right now it is set to x and x y which is appropriate in this situation but if we choose to y then it will happen in only one in only y direction and if we choose x it will happen only in x direction so now you go ahead and increase the amount it is happening only in x direction we can also increase the curve which will we can also increase the curve it will create a bulge kind of effect but if we increase in a negative number it will bulge in the opposite manner like a concave we can even control the limit so first we have to check this on and if you dial up the upper limit you can see how it is affecting it and also increase the lower limit to give a shape the way you want if you don't want if you don't want it, you can go ahead and uncheck the limit effect. Again in the modifier stack, you can turn it off. So this plus sign which is showing beside the taper means that it has more options. So click on it and you will get two more options which is gizmo and center. So if you select the gizmo, you can move it around and you will get a different kinds of results. Rotate it and just play with it around you will be able to get what I am trying to do. So again I will just give a recap about what I told. So the amount and the curve will deform the shape. The taper axis will do the deformation on what axis we have selected. And you also have the ability to limit the effect. So in the next tutorial I will be explaining about the FFT modifier. So let me see you all in the next tutorial.